Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can turn on, off, and reset the Sharp EL738 Financial Calculator. To do this we need to use the on-off key that looks like this located here, the second function key that looks like this located here, and we'll also be using the alpha key with the second function of M clear that looks like this located here. So when we're getting started and we want to turn on our calculator, it's a simple matter of just hitting the on key here. That's the red one. And we're ready to work with it. When we're done working with our calculator, it's a good idea to turn it off to try and save your battery. So to do that, you press the second function key and then the on key again because the second function of this key is the off function. You press it and you'll see your screen has completely gone off and it's maintaining that battery. Now if you've run into a problem with settings and want to reset your calculator, you can do that two ways. The first way is with the keys. To do that you press the second function key and then the alpha key. That'll bring you to this menu here. If you press zero here, that'll clear the memory and any stored variables that you have on this calculator. Alternatively, you can press one for reset. This will reset your calculator to its original state. So if we press 1, it'll say reset question mark. And if we want to confirm this, we press equals. And our calculator has now been reset. You can see the number of variables I have has been changed. And it's gone back to its original settings. If that doesn't work, we can also turn our calculator over. On the back here, there'll be a button that says reset, and you'll need to use some pointed object like a pen. Make sure it's not something that'll break, and then you'll press in, feel it go in, and release, and your calculator should now be reset. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.